La mosca de la fruta, Drosophila melanogaster, un pequeño insecto menor a 2 centímetros, ha sido el punto de encuentro entre dos grupos de investigación, uno italiano y otro mexicano, para comprender la regulación del zinc en los organismos y de esa manera dar luz a diversos temas relacionados con la nutrición y el sistema inmune en distintos seres vivos, incluido el humano. A partir del convenio de colaboración instituido entre el Consejo Nacional de Investigación de Italia y el CIMBESTAP, las investigadoras Anacleta Cross y Francesca Scolari, del Instituto de Genética Molecular en aquel país europeo, visitaron nuestro centro para dar marcha al proyecto científico, el cual cuenta con la participación de Liliana Quintanar, Alberto Vela y Fanny Smissioris por parte del CIMBESTAP, así como a estudiantes de la institución. El proyecto de colaboración CIMBESTAP CNR busca extender las observaciones realizadas en un organismo modelo de la investigación básica a los moscos vectores de enfermedades como la malaria o paludismo, el dengue, el virus de Zika o el virus de chikungunya. Yeah, this project is about the study of uh, zinc storage um, and uh, um, remobilization um, in uh, insects. And uh, the idea is to study this topic because, of course, um, zinc deficiency is a very uh, important issue in the world. And uh, um, studying how zinc is stored and then used in insects, uh, in several insect species actually are the targets of our research, is important because we may obtain insights that are useful also for uh, in mammalian models and, of course, for human. Uh, here we are using a combined uh, um, microscopy um, and uh, microspectroscopy approach and Anacleta for sure can tell you a little bit more about this approach. Yes, because uh, in uh, these studies, in these studies are involved uh, some uh, um, components that uh, give rise to uh, fluorescence emission, which is called autofluorescence in the case uh, compounds naturally present in the tissue are itself giving emission, emission light, when properly excited. And the importance of using, of uh, taking advantage of these compounds is that we can obtain information of their present topological distribution and also changes in their environment, just measuring the spectra coming from these uh, uh, compounds uh, or uh, just uh, analyzing how they uh, are topologically distributed in the cell or in the tissue by, by fluorescence imaging. And uh, the advantage of, uh, taking advan the, of using these uh, uh, natural compounds fluorescing is that we can obtain these uh, informations without uh, the need of uh, uh, administration of external dyes which are anyway affecting, which can anyway affect the uh, functionality of a cell. So we are just uh, having information directly from the cell without uh, uh, perturbation. Yeah, and the other advantage is that normally uh, what researcher do is to use confocal microscopy separated from microspectroscopy. So putting together at the same time these two approaches uh, provide us with more, uh, more uh, comprehensive yeah. information. Uh, so this is a great opportunity that uh, the CNR and the Simvestav uh, gave us. So we uh, at the CNR have these important bilateral agreements and um, I was hired uh, by CNR in 2020 and when I got to learn about this opportunity, opportunity I immediately started to think about how to um, really exploit this opportunity and um, thanks to our uh, network um, we uh, were lucky to uh, meet Dr. Mr. Lis and um, then we uh, decided to put together our expertise and uh, research interest and, uh, and actually everything started and so we are very happy to be here now and um, we are looking forward to continue this collaboration. Um, so uh, this was important not only to learn uh, new techniques um, and expand the knowledge on our target topics but also to meet people and to build uh, the network that now uh, to me is a, a tremendous resource for um, finding partners for new projects 
and uh, to continue um, producing joint research, which to me is the basis of science. Without collaboration, there's no, uh, there's no future. And also being international um, uh, allows you to learn uh, so many different cultures and words. And uh, I encourage all the students to, uh, to, to do that and to pursue um, this, uh, this route because it, you will be surely happy as I am now.